Shalom, everyone. I'm Rabbi Donnie, and welcome to our Ruach service for this week. We're going to be singing some of the highlights of the Saturday morning Shabbat morning service, and I hope you'll join in with me. And then a little bit towards the end, we'll talk about the Torah portion of the week, and this one's really exciting. Um, and so I won't tell you any more until the end, so you'll, you'll stay on and watch all about that. So we're going to begin our morning service. Well, we've just began our morning service with saying, am I awake? Am I prepared? So hopefully you're awake and prepared to sing along with me with these prayers. And, uh, and we're going to start. So we'll start with Mo De'ani, the prayer that says, I'm so glad I woke up this morning so I can make the world a better place. <laughs> Continue at Elohai Nishama, the prayer for our soul to keep our souls healthy and happy. <laughs>
that was beautiful. And we can so um, blessed the blessing the people of Israel instead of the person coming and giving a curse and saying awful things um, they said a blessing how great are your tents Jacob and, and, and Israel and that they're able to live together in harmony Matobu <laughs> We are searching, will you show us Israel? We are Israel. Or to sing your praises in your holy, holy spaces. Matobu, bless the morning, Matobu. Matobu, our life. Sarah Mishkinotai, Vita, Rachel, Belea. Lord, to sing your praises in your holy, holy spaces. Matu, bless the morning, Matu. We can continue with the beginning part of Ashrei. The word Ashrei means happy. And so hopefully we are happy on the Shabbat and doing stuff that makes us happy as an individual and something we can do together as a family to make the Shabbat something different and special from the rest of the week. Ashrei, Continue together with the Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu 
the first opening line to the Amidah Adonai Zimatai Tita Hufiya Gitahila Techa. Oh God, open up my lips that my mouth shall declare your praise. And for me, when I sing this prayer, I think about God when I open up my lips and words are coming out and I'm talking to people. What my words are are giving you uh, my words are good and you would give me two thumbs up for what i'm saying and if i'm not sure if i would get two thumbs up then i want to rethink what i'm saying so i don't hurt people's feelings because words are so powerful as we know i don't know i said that i do want to have a prayer for peace, O Seh Shalom, to make peace, peace in our home, Shalom Bayit, peace in our communities, peace in the world, so we pray for peace this week as we do every single week. O Seh Shalom, to the Torah portion of the week. So this week we have in our Torah portion, it's a double portion, Bahar Bakukotai, and it is the last portion, it's a double portion, and it ends the book of Leviticus, Vayikra. 
And I'm going to read a couple of lines in English about what some, some about what it says in the text, so we can I can talk about it a little bit, and hopefully you'll discuss it as a family. It says in the text, "If you follow my laws and faithfully observe my commandments, I will grant you rains in their season, so that the earth shall yield its produce and the trees of the field their fruit." But if you do not obey me and observe all of these commandments, if you reject my laws and spurn my rules, so that you not so you do not deserve all my commandments and break my covenant, I it will I, I in turn will do this to you. In this portion, it talks about rewards and punishments. Varshak Bafukotai particularly begins with a list of blessings that will be granted to the Israelites if they faithfully observe God's commandments. And this is definitely the positive feel-good part of the portion. Immediate following these wonderful statements of blessing, however, the portion takes a turn and continues with listing of many curses, all of which will occur if the Israelites do not observe God's commandments, and dire consequences will happen if they are not obedient. So one of the questions is, why are both blessings and curses included in this parsha? Wouldn't it have been enough to just remind the Israelites that they would be granted an abundance of blessings if they walked the straight and narrow? Perhaps because of prior behavior by the Israelites, or perhaps because of God's parental role in their lives, this Parsha sets out to have an either-or scenario. There are different ways to teach people the right way to behave. Sometimes a gentle word or a hint is all it takes. But if these are ignored, it could be that stronger measures are needed. In our Torah portion, we learn of how much God loves the Jewish people and wants them and, wa and wants them to be close to God. God tells them all of the wonderful things that will happen if they follow the rules, the rules of living a good and fair life. But God also tells them if they don't follow the rules, there'll be consequences and that will get their attention. God is a loving parent who really wants what's best for us and does what God is need, does what is needed to help us get there. So a couple of questions to think about when we think about rewards and punishments. Uh, maybe the question that you can ask when we discuss as a family is, what are some of the rules that each of you and your family have to follow every day in your life? So talk about some of the rules that are in your life. And what would happen, the second question now, is what would happen if you didn't follow these rules? What would happen if you decided just, you know, not to stop at a, at a red light? If your parent wants to stop at a red light, needs to stop at a red light and says, oh, I don't need to follow the rules. We obviously know what would happen there. What if we don't follow the rules in our house um, in, and, and keeping ourselves and brushing our teeth, um, uh, you know, taking showers, taking baths, whatever it might be. And so we got to think about, you know, yes, we want to have positive reinforcement and, 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 and tell people the, the good things that'll happen, but we sometimes need to let people know that there's a cause and effect, that, that if you do something, whatever you do, that causes something else to happen. And so you got to think about, is it going to cause something good to happen? Or is it going to cause something, uh, it's all of us, no matter what, no matter where we are in the world, we all have rules that we need to follow in our house, in our society, in order for things to run smoothly. Uh, and unfortunately, sometimes when things go awry, it reminds us that we need to follow the rules. So this way we can really benefit from the rewards and not have to suffer the consequences of our choices. Uh, so I would love for you to discuss that as a family, maybe over the course of this week. One, one of the exciting things though, that at the, at the end of this portion, like I said, it's the end of uh, Leviticus, end of the book of Vayikra, and we're going to go on to Bamidbar, uh, the book of Numbers next week. But we ended the portion, so we say a special, uh, a, a, you know, a special phrase which means strength and strength make strength come to all of you. So I do wish you for this week to have lots of strength um, uh, uh, to keep going forward uh, in our world and to be the best people that you could possibly be. And the words are, say it with me if you know it. I'll, I'll say it and then I'll say it again so you can do it with me. The words are chazak, chazak, benit, chazik. So let's try that together. Chazak, chazak, benit, chazik. We're going to end our service today with the Mishra Bayrock blessing. So it's healing of the body. Hopefully everyone's feeling okay. 
but it's also healing of the spirits. It's hard to be in our houses and not do our normal routine. So healing of the spirit, healing of the soul, give us the strength to keep going forward and looking forward to being together again one day soon. Shalom, everyone. If you have any suggestions or particular tunes that I haven't done that you want to hear in the, in the next couple of weeks coming services, please feel free to give me, uh, uh, this, shoot me an email at my Anshe Emmett address, daron, D-A-A-R-O-N, at anshayemmet.org. Uh, and I'll be happy to oblige as, as much as I can. So everyone, Shabbat Shalom, and have a safe and healthy week.